Hello and welcome to another episode of Intune.Training, the place to learn how to use Microsoft Intune, the Steve and Adam show with Adam and Steve. Hi, What's Adam. Up, buddy? Oh, not much, buddy. Yourself? Hanging in there, dude. Just chugging along. Living the dream. Living the dream, I believe the term is. Yeah, I think so. It finally stopped raining here, so hey. It's not no longer humid here. I'm pretty excited about that. It's very Still cold. hot, though. It was way... I my teeth were chattering yesterday leaving the office. I, so it was what like five degrees Celsius. I was like, I don't know, like seventy five. <laughs> <laughs> it's Texas, you know, like jeez. Yeah, uh, it's not that tenth year. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, nobody cares about the weather. Uh, this video won't age well if we keep talking no, about current weather and trends. Change. Um, well, hey, man, let's talk about some uh, cool things. Yes. Yes, let's. Let's. What are we talking about again? So something about we, we're doing a repeat of a video that we did. Oh, that's right. We're proving you wrong. A bit ago. Proving me wrong. Wow. I, proving that it needs to be updated and it hasn't aged well. Speaking right. of things not aging yeah. well. Yeah. Uh, okay. So apps that are come in uh, to Windows by default. Oh, that's right. Inbox packages apps. in Windows are called inbox apps. And uh, a couple of years ago, I wrote a blog um, on how to remove, because like I wrote a blog on how to add add Windows Store apps from Config Manager to uh, your boxes through Config Manager uh, without having to open up the Windows Store and all that kind of stuff. And then when there was this you know, whole thing about servicing Windows and removing inbox apps, and, and it's still a script. It's still a big thing today. Everybody's running Dism with a list of uh, either. I'm, I'm going to be very blunt here. Do not run Dism with the uninstall asterisk apps, except for these apps, because. Oh, I know. I have an example. A lot of very important applications now. Let me give you a good example. Um, Notepad yep. got moved and became in uh, an AppX package. Correct. And um, calculator is too. Yeah. Uh, and also, uh, did you know Power Automate Desktop comes built yes. in to Windows 11 now? Oh, so yes. all these things, there are lots of new apps that are in Windows 11 that people haven't been looking at. And they're just trans yep. you know, transporting their inbox apps script over and, oh, we still need to rip this stuff out. And uh, so um, some OEMs might even be doing this if you're getting the OEM image and you're using that for autopilot. Ask me how I know. So uh, uh, yes. That's correct. Uh, with, I'm not going to name names, so but uh, OEM. Vendors. We so our uh, we started deploying the OEM image, and I've never once checked to see that Notepad was working as a test to see if the image was good. You know, so we deployed a handful of machines, and you know, weeks later, somebody said, "Hey, I can't get Notepad to launch. I it's not finding it. Can't figure it out," and Notepad was missing. And then I said, wait a second, all right. And I pulled open, I realized it was the OEM image uh, machine. And yeah, sure enough, talk to the OEM. And yeah, they're doing, they're, they're doing what all their customers asked on Windows 10, rip out all the inbox apps. Yep. And so they ripped them all, which included good things like Notepad. Uh, so stop using the script, stop using the, the uh, DISM script to do this stuff, unless you really, really, really want all that stuff gone. But I don't think most of you do. Now, some of you, some people do maintain an actual list of explicitly remove these things. If you want to do that, it's fine. But doing it this way works really well. I've been using it for years in production and it just works and it's easy yep. to maintain. It's easy to see. It doesn't require any scripting. There, you just go into the Intune portal or you go into Config Manager, pull the apps in with the business store, and you're good to go. So a couple of years ago, we did this. Um, we There's a new but, Windows Store integration. They got rid of the, right. the, uh, the, business, the Microsoft Store for Business, and they're now doing new uh, Windows Store integration into Intune. So we're going to kind of right. talk through what that looks like and how this is even easier than it was before to get these things in. And, and I'll be clear, we will be doing other videos on the new store but this is yes, the first, yes. <laughs> first conversation around hey if you were doing this in win 10 with the store for business this is how you do it with win 10 and 11 with the new store yeah um, and the, the the great thing here is that 
the I mean, if you if you go if you if you've ever done it before, so you go into the you had to go into the the store for business, log into it, go shop for my team, yeah. Yeah. Uh, click an app, or if you could find it, you had to get right. lucky, and there was hacky ways to find the apps if you couldn't find them, uh, and then you had to add them to your account. And then they became available in your private store. And then you had to wait for Intune to sync over to make them show up just to yeah. even get the app advertised. And then when it's, once it's there, do you know how to delete the app? You had to go back in and like refund it in the business We're store to make it all the way back you know, the other way. All the way back the other way. So, um, we're going to show you how much faster this is. I think yep. we can do it in a shorter time than our intro took. <laughs> I think so too. Uh -oh. So Adam's going to share his screen now, uh, and we're going to step through the process that's the new methodology. Um, so he'll get there. And there's our screen. Um, cool. So we're going to start off in the Intune portal. And I'm going to pick a an application that's on most computers uh, that everybody wants removed because everybody runs Outlook. We're going to be looking for the mail and calendar application. So if we go and add, and then we're going to select it as the Microsoft Store app new. We click on that. Now notice they've tagged the other one as legacy. It's yes. still available if you had uh, things there already. Yep. So now we're going to search the Microsoft Store for mail and calendar. It's there. Um, that's interesting. I didn't expect it to be there, but that's okay. Um, oh, is it? Did we? Well, here we'll know it. It will have the code now. Yep, see, there it is. does. So if, let's let's search for another app for us, Adam, just to show the another way. If you want to do, if you want to go to the actual Microsoft Store website, nope. so we can get the code there. No, no. all right, yep. you're no fun. Steve. So what we're going to do is search again, uh, and we're going to search for Feedback Hub because this is another one that I hear a lot of customers want to remove. And you'll see it's not there. Oh, it's not. All right. I guess we can't use it. Well, you can, because what you need to do is on a Win 11 computer or go to the store and select the share option. So Adam's just going to share a computer with the screen to be able to show the store because uh, we of course. very much planned this. I was I was already switching over. I uh, I stupidly shared just the window and I knew this yes. was going to happen. I did exactly <laughs> I what knew I it was going to happen too. Yep. Uh, okay. So now if you look here, you'll see the three other feedback hub or feedback options, but you've also got feedback hub. And then we've got the share option there. Uh, so that share option is we're going to go down the bottom and say copy link. We're going to copy that and we're going to go to notepad. Yeah, the iPhone mentioned notepad and that's not the one that we're looking for. Let me do it in the uh, uh, session. Um, enhanced session. <laughs> I've gotten the, out of the habit of using enhanced session by default. Because of hello um, for business. Yeah, but it creates other problems. Yes, it does. Whenever you don't need it. Yeah. I don't know what my password is in this tenant. <laughs> so the reason why is because Adam typically will use it in here and use, yeah, password list. Oh, my God. I don't know what my password is. Oh, we'll, we'll just go back to the pin. That's fine. Um, like, yeah. It's, and what we'll we, do. We will make do. It's only yep. 10 characters we can type. In. Yeah. So what we're going to do is open up Notepad here. And while Adam does that, I'm going to go on my computer and pull back the store application there. Um, although is Adam running Win 11 on his desktop computer? Because he could just do it there. Yeah, I can. Um, well, but you'll see here the product ID at as, the end. As I was suggesting. So let's see if this actually brings it back in here. I believe you can do it here. Because this is what we had done before. Um, Feedback Hub, and there it is. Oh, I didn't realize you could do the website as well. We literally did this in the last video, Steve. Just saying. We did? It was a while <laughs> yes. ago. Yes, we did. And, and there's, there's the ID there. 
right? So now if we copy that and go back to search and paste that in there. Hey, there look at that. So that gives us the ability now to actually deploy the uninstall of Feedback Hub. And it now, does it cleanly. Here's a good one too. While you're here, you can Copy, save your image. Save your image, put it across it. But you're uninstalling it, so it's not going to be seen other than by admins. Well, but, it, okay, yeah, this would be, if we were covering more store app stuff, this would make more sense. Uh, yes. But, but definitely put in the icon. So if you're doing it. We've asked about it. It's coming. I didn't name the extension. <laughs> It just you know you got the idea. Don't worry go, about the, it. Go to the thing, save the thing. Yes. Got a logo, great. Um, so you don't have to change any of this stuff at this point. Now okay. here, Steve, there is one thing that I've noticed about the new store integration that is not ideal for some applications. We can't do system user. You can't do system user, and that's a bummer because uh, yeah. that kind of matters in some cases. Yes. Uh, like if you're going to do the company portal so, offline version and install yeah. it for system and stuff like that. Yeah. So, and then all we do here is we just scroll down to the bottom and we go uninstall, add all devices, hide our toast notifications, and we're done. And that will go and remove feedback up. So if we go to Adam's computer, because we know it always works really quickly on Adam's computer. Oh, sorry. One additional thing to point out here is if you are in an environment that has locked down the store, going to the Microsoft Store website instead is a great alternative to be yep. able to go get those codes. Um, Definitely. So like in my environment, I've actually got the store. I've got a policy that allows me to get to store. Uh, don't tell anybody. Uh, because I need to do things related to the store for testing. And so I need a special policy for it. For example, um, installing Netflix. Never. Actually, the Netflix is blocked. It won't work anyway. So, if it, uh, yes. So what we'll do quickly, just to prove the point, Adam. Yes, you're right. I was trying to get a head start on that sync because you know it's going to take forever. It is. <laughs> so we're at Feedback Hub here. We can see that it's there. Some customers want it, some customers don't. This is where we're just going to sit here and we're going to go sync. And obviously, um, this will go through and process it. And then what will happen is the Feedback Hub application will be removed. And I just look at it and say, I, I just don't care. Just yeah. leave it alone. I'm in that camp as well, but I've worked with some regulated customers that want that sort of stuff removed. Now, Steve, while we're doing this, I'd like to point out another thing. So. Uh, so one of the one of the common you know complaints and things that you see frequently is why in the world is I just recently saw it why in the world is TikTok in uh, in as part of a corporate image? I have done it's absolutely not. nothing to this computer to clean it up. But if you are on a computer that has Windows 11 Pro, yeah, you will see, and you just log in directly, you will see TikTok and WhatsApp and they though, but those are not inbox apps. Those are advertised apps, um, but they're part of the SKU. Depending on the right. SKU that you activate, dictates the icons that you get. When you, How, when you wasn't have, this the same as Candy Crush in Windows Ten? Same deal. Yeah, you you only saw Candy Crush when you were using the the more consumery, uh, less enterprise SKUs. When you hit enterprise, the enterprise SKUs, this is what your start menu looks like out of the box. Yep, um, and so just want to point that out because I know that that's often a thing um, and they're not installed. Those mm -hmm. are advertised shortcuts that when you click them, then they go in and uh, begin downloading. Now exactly. I don't know the answer to whether if I've got the public store blocked, if that would prevent that from even working um, the advertised. Never tried it. Yeah. I've, I always run an enterprise, so I don't know. But if anybody wants to test that and let us and know, that's great. Feedback, feedback up is already still. gone, just like that. This is the Heck fastest is sync in the history of Intune training. I think so. <laughs> Never seen it work that fast. <laughs> and that's it. Uh, that's that's it, literally yeah. it. So go through, find all of your. Uh, so like you know, you want to remove the Xbox because uh, I know I saw I saw Xbox was down there. So yep. you know, go go grab the Xbox app um, and go to town. Go remove it. And so if you type in Xbox. What you'll see is it won't actually return them all. 
Well, no, return's a good percentage of them, but not everyone. Yeah, but you only need to hit, generally need to hit the ones that are there. Now, there was a thing not too long ago where we needed to add the Xbox game stuff bar, I back think in, the game bar, so that you could do the built-in screen recording, because you can yep. just record your screen, which is kind of nice, and you don't have to. Hey, sir. I don't think oh, you yeah. have to log in no. to uh, to use it. It's not causing any issues. Um, and there's other ways Which, to block the to... Xbox stuff. Yeah. But uh, anyway, you could, uh, if you care, you can add it in there and roll it out, dump it, uh, and that's it. So anyway, that's uh, that's it. I do it. love how quick it is, though. I know. Like, you can't package an app, an app that fast. Yeah. Now, in future videos, we will talk about uh, once we, you know, get more into the the new WinGet, the Windows Store uh, replacement, the integration in Intune, and all of the goodness that comes along with that. Um, that'll be coming in future videos. But this is just kind of a, a quick, easy way to kind of get familiar with and start using this. Um, it takes to make sure you have coverage while uh, once the store disappears to be able to do this sort of stuff. Yeah, and, and really, the other thing you should be doing is going through in any of these apps that you've already got here, you need to be converting them to using the new Windows Store uh, yep. version. You won't see a difference. The The actual client experience is the same. Uh, and it won't uninstall, reinstall is my understanding either. It just yeah. goes, this is a new deployment mechanism. I've detected it's there. I don't need to do anything. Yep, exactly. So it's a pretty safe move to just go swap them out. Uh, I've been doing it. I haven't noticed any, any uh, abnormalities uh, because of it. So um it's a good move cool so um on that note i think we're done i think we're done yeah yeah all right so it took us twice as long as the intro but that's close sure. enough i think it was pretty damn quick yeah it's still one of our fastest videos yeah it's great if we stop now maybe we can end early yeah or we can just well, stretch it out what do you want to talk about i think i think we should wrap it up and all right maybe record fine. another video fair enough all right everybody We'll talk to you later. Thanks for sticking Thanks, around. Thanks, everyone. See ya. Hey, they might actually stick to the end.